Good evening and salam ibu partiwiku. This is the state news on TV Sarawak. His Excellency Yang Dipertua Negeri of Sarawak Tun Pain Sri Haji Abdul Taib Mahmud was pleased to present a generous donation of welfare and funds to the underprivileged during his 83rd birthday anniversary high tea ceremony in Miri. The ceremony, which was attended by Chief Minister Datuk Patigi Abang Zohari Tun Abang Haji Openg, saw more than 100 people from various ethnic and religious backgrounds receiving donations. Following soon after, Tun Taib and his wife arrived at the Miri Library to launch the Dirgahayu exhibition. The exhibition features the career paths and information on Tun Taib, photos of development and his contributions to establishing unity among Sarawak's multiracial community. At the same event, Tun Taib launched a book called The Pillar of Unity, which was also witnessed by the Chief Minister. The National Budget 2020 has unveiled the true colors of the Pakatan Harapan government, which seems to have treated Sarawak like a stepchild in its so-called Shared Prosperity Vision 2030. This is the views of Deputy Chief Minister Tan Sri Dr. James Masse, who said all Sarawak wanted was a fair share of the SPV policy amid its vast geographical area compared to other states in Malaysia. In a statement, he said this is proven as each state in Peninsula Malaysia gets 4 billion ringgit each, even though in terms of size and contribution to the federal level, they put in peanuts. Massing added Budget 2020 is supposed to reflect the Shared Prosperity Vision 2030. However, the Pakatan government has shown their true colors, and their vision is merely a rhetoric. Youth and Sports Assistant Minister Datuk Snowdan Lawan has called for a fairer distribution of funds to develop esports in the state. He said last year 10 million ringgit was allocated for esports in the whole country, but the impact was minimal to Sarawak. He added the state had to come out with its own allocations to ensure the sport sustained throughout the year and stayed afloat, although it is a new industry in Sarawak. Snowdan was commenting on the 20 million ringgit federal budget allocation for the Ministry of Youth and Sports on eSports, tabled by Finance Minister Lim Guan Eng in Parliament. Snowdan pointed out that the lackluster support from the federal government to support the industry in Sarawak might affect its growth, especially its objective to tap more potential eSports athletes to participate in the upcoming Manila Sea Games this December, as well as the Malaysia Games in Johor next year. Well, that's all the news updates for now. Stay tuned for more. I'm Razi Ahmad. Thanks for watching.